Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancer as a Lifestyle. Good morning everyone. Happy Sunday. I am getting ready to uh, head out and pick up my daughter and we're going to go off to church. We don't always have the opportunity to go to church uh, because of the work schedules and uh, many times that uh, Sundays my daughter works, especially her. So um, it's a big deal to us and uh, we're excited to be able to go this Sunday. I wanted to kind of update you guys. It's been, I think, two weeks since I've had, I, haven't, I didn't do a ramble last weekend. So first of all, I wanted to show you, I got my little fanny pack for my breast cancer walk that is, I'm going to be doing in two weeks. Now they offered actually three things that you could choose. Um, you could choose the fanny pack or you could choose the big pink sunglasses, you know, those big I shouldn't say real sunglasses, but they're, you know, the real big ones. And you could pick a pink cape. Now, <laughs> now I'm the practical one, and I have to find multiple uses for something. So um, as fun as the other two items may have seemed, I didn't think I could ever use them again. So <laughs> I chose the fanny pack which uh, I think it's going to come in useful for the walk. And, and yesterday, I tell you, uh, we went out to Wisconsin. I took my mom, and uh, we went out to Wisconsin to my brother uh, for some apple picking. <coughs> Excuse me. And I really uh, thought to myself, I should have brought my fanny pack because <laughs> it was kind of cumbersome with my uh, bag and all, so I kept le leaving it in the uh, car and... You know, I haven't really worn a fanny pack, you guys, in, in like, I don't know, decades. Remember when they were really popular? And what I notice a lot of people at work wear them now. So anyway, so I got my fanny pack. I'm going to be walking in um, two weeks on October 19th at 7 in the morning. And uh, with a lot of people from my work. And um, I haven't done a walk of any kind in about... I think it's going on almost three years because um, I did the global walk, I think, right after my last treatment, uh, which was about three years ago. So, um, yeah, but this one is going to be around in the neighborhood. It's not very far from my home, maybe 15 minutes or so, so it kind of goes in really well. It's also going to be my daughter's birthday that day, so once I'm done, after 12, I think, uh, I'm going to come home and... Um, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna take her out to eat at her uh, favorite seafood place that, you know, because she's a pescatarian. She loves fish, and we're gonna celebrate her birthday. <laughs> well, okay. Now, like I said, I went yesterday to Wisconsin. I drove out there. Uh, it was like a sudden, you know, we just kind of like, um, middle of the week, we kind of decided, you know, hey, you know, um, I got a free Saturday, why don't you guys come drive down and go apple picking and we kind of catch up and all. So, um, we went down there. It rained. <laughs> it rained back here. It rained out there. It was one of those uh, rainy, uh, cold days, you know, uh, and driving back, it was really bad raining. It was kind of like, I'm not used to um, driving on the expressway. Uh, with all the rain and also I had to especially since my mom was talking to me the whole time and I'm trying to like concentrate because you know when you're driving in in rain and it's you're driving fast all the mist from the from the um, the spray from the water you know from the rain it just it just gets real uh, you know it just it gets on that you know kind of foggy and and uh, with the spray and all so it's like you got to pay attention you can't it's not a really clear road you know so anyway uh it was we were there i think for just about majority of the day uh we didn't get home to about seven in the evening and we left like nine in the morning but i noticed something that um you know and i've been saying this a lot lately is just man i'm so busy uh i'm so you know, my schedule is so full, and I've noticed that all of us are saying that, that we're all like that. I get there, 
and our day is so packed. I mean, we're just going from place to place to place the whole time we're there. Uh, you know, my brother's schedule is full. Um, you know, everyone is just so busy. My coworkers are busy. My neighbors are busy. My family's busy. You know, my son is always busy. And I know, and then I, you know, at the, right before we left, you know, my sister-in-law was saying that, you know, how she, she, how busy she is and how much time, she doesn't have any time to do anything, it seems. And, and I thought to myself, you know, we are a world that is so full of busyness now. And even our children have a full schedule, like with school and outside activities. And like, you know, everyone is running around. The world is spinning full force. And I thought, wow. <laughs> you know, and we were, when we were talking with one another, we're like, when, when does it like ease off? You know, when do you get that break? Because even when you go on vacation, it's just packed, packed, packed. Everything is packed. Like, we do not... Uh, live anymore in a world where people just relax. You come home from work and or the weekend comes and you're sitting on your veranda with a lemonade in your hand. <laughs> you know, it's like everyone is constantly uh, running They're from place to place. Just It's just a real busy world now, nowadays. And, uh, and that's very true. Even our, our day, it just seemed to fly by because we packed as much as we could into it and uh, we had a wonderful time I am so glad uh, that we got to go oh let me show you guys something hold on sorry guys I wasn't ready I guess um, I went because there's something that I always get in in Wisconsin well uh, I think we tried it like once uh, a few years back and we just love it and that's the maple syrup so let me show you I love the maple syrup over there, and um, there's a farm near my brother that sells it, and I'm telling you, there's times when I'm ready to see him, or he, he you know, we're going to meet up together, I always tell him, hey, pick me up a jar, so this time I told myself, you know what, I am going to get two, so I got two jars, this is what was my big deal, oh, I can't even hold that up, it's heavy, so I got my two jars of maple syrup. If you've never had like royal maple syrup, um, <laughs> I'm telling you, it is absolutely delicious. It is actually, I can't even, you can't see it, but it is not thick like in the uh, pancake syrup in the, in the stores at all. It is kind of uh, runny because um, you don't really need a lot of it either when you're pouring it out. It's very, it's kind of thin, thin. It's not as uh, thick like you, like in the stores. But this is really, really good. I wanted to get two more uh, because usually in the winter time we make more hot meals for breakfast. Like our, you know, my daughter makes pancakes from scratch and and uh, oatmeal. Breakfast is the meal that she basically makes every morning because you know she starts like two fifty in the morning. So when she gets off work, it's like you know still brunch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's still brunch, so uh, she gets home and she makes uh, uh, breakfast for uh, for both of us. And I t usually take care of supper when I'm home, when we're home together. And I also was looking for now this jar I got in my farmer's market of raw honey. And um, I got the jar, and I was actually looking at Wisconsin when I was there. We went to several farms. We were buying. Uh, they had vegetable farms and and they had um, a lot of different farms that we went to apple picking and orchards and all but I did not find I found small jars but I wanted like a large jar uh, jar of the honey another raw honey and um, I really couldn't find it I don't know if it's because everyone bought it out I couldn't get the smaller ones but I didn't want that I wanted the large ones so I'm gonna have to go back next week uh, next Saturday to my farmer's market and pick up um, another one. We actually eat, uh, use honey a lot, you guys. Um, my daughter especially, I think I mentioned this once before, uh, when uh, she loves to make this drink of hot water and um, lemon and honey, and that she loves to drink that. 
Um, oh, let me show you one other thing. Boy, I'm really not ready for this vlog. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, so here's a, I uh, picked up this honey earlier. This is the pure honey. I know, it's so dark, right? And this was at the farmer's market that I go to. And I picked it up a, a little bit, a few weeks earlier. And I wanted to try it because it was dark. And I asked the lady, so why are these dark? Because I noticed that at the farmer's market, they had like different shades of honey. And, um, and, and, and actually the, um, uh, this, the raw honey that I just showed you, um, was the only yellow one that I, I just saw. I did not see any, the regular pure, um, uh, yellow honey. And I asked them, I said, why is this honey <laughs> so dark? And, you know, they had light brown, like, um, sunny, you know, more with, uh, like a real light, uh, chestnut color and all, and, um, and brown, and, and they were like, well, this is where the bees went this year, and wherever they go, this is the kind of honey it gets. So I was really curious, so what does this honey taste like? So as you can see, we, we already dipped into it. <laughs> so, um. It does taste different, you guys. It has a totally different taste. It's not, um, I, I would say that, I mean, it would not, like for us, it's not our, the favorite one, um, but it does have a totally different taste. Um, our honey, our favorite honey is still the raw honey. Really love it. That's our best choice. When I was there, there was a man that ordered like five of these large ones for the year and like five of these holy cow but now i do regret that i didn't get another one because they seem to be just you know flying off but yeah so this one did have like a little bit a uh, different taste to it it wasn't bad don't get me wrong but it didn't have that um sweet 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 honey uh flavor so yeah it's it's interesting um that it had a different um totally different taste than what you would think so um oh yeah what was that i want to talk about so i have a doctor's i know i'm going all over the place you guys but i also have a doctor's appointment in about two weeks also so i'm going to do the walk on saturday and then the following week i end up going to my appointment to my oncologist with my new uh, oncologist team because i as i mentioned before from my last uh rambles you know um my regular oncologist is leaving and then you know it's like i have a whole new team now the team that i've had before i've had since 2011 they have been with me for the last three um recurrences of my cancer they weren't my original team um but this is the team that's been with me the longest and um i i don't even and you know the thing is people retire my first um oncologist uh, i ended up he's i'm sure he's retired by now he's in, he was in his 60s when i you know 12 years ago so um and my one of my chemo um, nurses you know she's retired this summer and another one is only part-time now uh because she's like you know she's a part-time she's only uh she's in her early 70s and she i'm not even sure if she's going to be there any longer she's just doing this i think twice a week or something like that so yeah guys i'm getting like a whole new team now because you know you know people are leaving and new people are coming in so i'm going to get a new one i have no idea in fact even my appointment has always been in the mornings and this time it's in the afternoon and i'm like i've never been at the hospital in the afternoon i don't even know what they do at that hospital in the, morning, in the afternoon so we'll see how all of that goes. Um, <clears throat> uh, my, um, I'm also going to um, mention my, uh, um, we're going to talk about my thyroid. Usually I talk about, with my oncologist, we talk about just about everything. She doesn't just handle my, um, uh, my cancer because uh, they've always, you know, how I feel in general overall. So uh, they uh, talked about a lot of, you know, we address a lot of issues. Uh, it's almost kind of, it's my overall health. Like she's really my GP. Uh, my GP, 
I'm telling you, it, she just orders tests, and I never see her again for another year. I never get the results of the test. So I figure if she doesn't get in contact with me, then they're okay. But, and I've changed her like twice, and I don't know, GPs are very, my GPs are impersonal. And, uh, but I do know that I'm going to have to address an issue with my GP coming up uh, in my next appointment about my hand. Um, I've been wearing my wrist at the band and all. I've been massaging it. I've been, uh, I haven't been crocheting as much as I have in the past, which is kind of like, you know, I need to get to it because I have so many projects started, you guys, and I need to get to them as, you know, I have been slacking off with my crocheting but i'm trying to and i've been using my loom a lot because you know i'm trying not to use as much pressure on my hand but i don't really see it going down i have like this little bubble here and it's just this little bubble here where it seems to be uh, inflamed like i have uh, liquid there so and I've noticed that on my days when my arthritis is acting off, you know, where you get up because it's, especially now when it's cold and damp outside, I noticed that my hand is starting to hurt like an arthritis thing. So I don't know. I don't, I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to bring it up to her. But I already know that she's most likely going to send me for an x-ray. And then she's going to do the dreaded therapy, which I do not want to go for physical therapy. Um, it is a good hour's drive for me to the hospital i do everything at the hospital for me to go there every, uh, several times a week is just not an option i don't want to be you know i don't have time now let alone um going back and forth if they would just tell me what it is and then give me the exercises <laughs> i will do it myself so anyway i just wanted to show you a couple things you guys I have been busy <laughs> like all the world out there I have been extremely busy I've been working 10 hour days I will tell you guys I am NOT made for 10 hour days anymore I am worn out I cannot handle it I am 54 I am really tired and um, just to get them I mean, just to get through the day, even though I have a very nice little job, you guys, I have a very easy job compared to my other jobs that I had over the years. This is a very easy job. Uh, and, um, but it's still, I think the physical part of being there and, you know, for 10 hours a day, that's just not getting your sleep, but then everything else suffers. You know, when you're working more, it's like everything else suffers. Oh yeah. I wanted to tell you one more thing. Let me tell you. <laughs> I bought a printer and I'm going to show you the printer in one of my hauls because I wanted to sh show you what I bought but I bought a printer because uh, I had to take care of a um, you know I was uh, I had to fax over some uh, paperwork and nowadays it seems like people do not send you any papers in the mail no more like you know any documents or anything hey sign these and mail them back to us or whatever heck no <laughs> now it's like what's your email and we're going to send you a pdf and you download that you print it out and uh, sign it and then screenshot it or fax it over back to us and i'm like <laughs> I'm not going to, you're not going to send this to me. <laughs> so in the past, what we've done is at my work in my, in our HR our office, uh, there is a group of computers that are there for us. So uh, we, anytime we needed anything to look up, like not everyone had a, a computer, you know, they would go look up, uh, you know, use their computers and print out whatever you wanted. We could, we used the fax also on the printer, on the copy machine and all and that was what we used it that was in our you know for our use and everyone used it like that well now it seems so okay this week okay so i go to work i download <laughs> i try to download first of all i can't even get it to my email my personal email because my new employer that i've had um for like a year now uh they sent out a firewall well yeah the only <laughs> you can't use 
your personal things at all on the computer. You can only use these computers in HRs now for <laughs> the company use, meaning I can check my insurance, I can check my paste stubs, I can check uh, anything pertaining to work, but I cannot, you know, uh, go and check my email, <laughs> my personal email on there, and I cannot um, use the web for anything else, and I definitely cannot use the fax. The fax is like, um, it's situated where it, it has like all the home offices on there and <laughs> you can't send the fax anywhere else but for these offices. So anyway, so I had a heck of a time this week. So I went and I finally bought a printer to download <laughs> and print out this PDF. I'm taking screenshots of these because I couldn't fax it over to work. So I said, I'm going to take screenshots of this uh, paperwork so I can send it, uh, you know, email it to them or download it onto their uh, website. Okay, this is how you do it now, I guess. So <laughs> I cannot talk about perfection. Uh, the paper is a little skewed or not all four corners are showing or you know I mean it's like I just could not do it they were not happy with anything I sent them uh, they wanted this I don't know what they wanted they were driving me crazy all week so finally I decided that's it I am gonna go to a UPS store and I'm going to pay for this fax and send it to them and they cannot complain to me anymore that it's not perfect. I go to the UPS store. <laughs> I walk in. This is already like Friday, guys, after I've been through hell and back with these documents. And I get there and they tell me, oh, I'm sorry, the fax machine broke last night. <laughs> and I said, okay, I guess I can't use, I can't even fax these documents. So I run over to the currency exchange and it cost me $8 to pay for this fax and she could not it would not work and she kept trying and trying and she said you sure this is the right number and i'm like i have the letterhead right here this is what it says but i will tell you she kept trying and she finally get, it worked but i thought to myself after i finally got the confirmation that it got sent that i spent my entire week trying to download print fax screenshot these these sets of documents that I was like what is going on with the universe that I cannot send <laughs> I can't do this and they think that this is a, a, a better version <laughs> than uh, sending it in the mail <laughs> hello <laughs> so I, I, I just I didn't even call and ask if, if this was the perfect uh, sheets of paper that they got because I did not want it to ruin my weekend. So anyway, that's my Sunday ramble. I have to go and uh, meet up with my daughter so we can go to church. I hope you have a wonderful day, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you. Bye-bye.